Who am I talking to? Who here today is going through a little bit of hell? But you know, I can see on the other side. It's just a temporary situation. I might be going through hell. It might be a hot, funky situation. But I'm coming out. How many can say, I'm coming out? I'm coming out. It didn't come to stay. Oh, it came to pass. So he said, if, if you could just allow Lazarus to just dip his finger in cool water to touch it. Now, 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 holy person began to speak. See, Lazarus didn't have to say nothing. Because now, Lazarus got a lawyer in the courtroom. Lazarus got a doctor in the sick room. Lazarus got a financier. Lazarus got a palace in the sky. Lazarus, it's his turn. Y'all tell the devil, devil, I'm coming into my due season. My turn is coming. This is my season to be the head and not the tail. This is my season to be above and not the least. This is my season. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. No. He can't come to you. When he was there, you weren't trying to hear him. Don't speak to him now. My fact, don't speak to me. <laughs> Well, <laughs> could you send him to my father's house? Because I got some, some rich fools, my brother and them, who on the way to hell. But if you could kind of like, you know, curb this situation for, no. Nah. Didn't I tell you don't talk to me no more? See, you need some God and angels that know you. Now, you know, they know you. They've already been assigned. You. Your problem is they ain't speaking to corruptness. See, you got to get in the spirit. Uh, the word came. John said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Learn, don't come here just to fellowship. Come and get in the spirit on the Lord's day. See, when you get in the spirit, you know the spirit by the spirit. I ain't chopping time. Yeah. There's some days I come for me There's some days I come just for you And when I see what you need I speak it into existence Why? Because there's power on the inside oh, yeah. And I can alleviate that hellish situation Some of us don't realize Many of us in this room Have all we need is the ability for one person to say yes That's all you need Just one person to say yes Now Ain't talking. Abraham talking. Send somebody to my house. Well, look here, since you're going to talk, let me give you the, the diagram of how this thing works. I got Moses and, and, and the prophets there. Now, they got a word. They got a shown up word. They got a word out of experience. Now, I want to let you know something, buddy. If they don't hear them, oh, come on. Now. They ain't really trying to hear me. Well, send somebody from the dead. All right. All right. All right. Now, you ever examine the people around you? Last three weeks, I just keep hitting your posse. You examine the people around you. Let's look at your entourage. It's husband or wife, your man or your woman, <laughs> your, your, your children, is that right? right? Grandchildren, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, is that right? Then it's your other stuff. <laughs> you know what, y'all gonna talk. <laughs> I don't know nothing, I'm just talking, amen. Then it's your other stuff, is that right? Is that right? Now, anybody here ever lived two lives? I said, has anybody here ever lived two lives? All right. Now, now, now watch this. When you live two lives, you got to understand you get double trouble. Oh, say with me, double trouble. I sent the prophets and Moses. If they're not going to hear them, I'm not sending nobody from hell. Why can't you? See, if you're going to be so concerned about somebody, be more concerned about the living and not the dead. Isn't that right? I think in the 830 service, I was showing how folk, yeah, it was 830 service. I was showing how 
I went to a, 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 a funeral I was at, and the lady climbed up in the casket and laid on the deceased. And the casket did not fall. I was waiting. I said, oh, this is going to be good. She's going to spill out with the dead man and all. Oh, this is good. This, this is sure enough good. And she began a soliloquy of song. Why? Why? Why not me? I said, oh, this is going to be good. You should have took me. And at that point, you know how they had them reverse where, where things flip over, you on top, in, in that reverse. I, I, I wish it was like, you know, with, with, with the bottom of the castle because just flipped over and she be laying there. And the lid just slammed, bam! And the person there just come up out the bottom. Bless you, bless you. was a $15,000 arrangement. You don't hear what I'm saying. Sometimes we better the folk when they're dead than folk who are alive. You ought to bless me while I can smell my flower. You ought to bless me while I'm yet still living. You ought to tell me you love me while I can hear it. I don't need to have your accolades and acknowledgement when I'm dead. Love me now. God will love me later. Send them to my daddy's house? No. <laughs> Close by saying, in the end, life will prevail. Bible said the poor shall always be among you. I'm not saying everybody going to be rich. I'm not trying to deal with the prosperity matches. But God will sustain you so that your older days will be your better days. I told somebody the other day, I said, you know, I love to have a boat so I can see it. I got a nice little boat sitting out on the water. I could go there and study, do a little fishing every now and then. Just Katie and I, we take off, go to one of the Erie Islands around, just come on back. But really, I got like a houseboat. God gonna tell me, you don't need that. <laughs> so I, I figured something wrong with <laughs> So I said, oh, I've been looking at it. I said, man, a bedroom, you could just walk around the bed and, and you know, we got a nice little kitchen area, a little lounge here with the couch and all that. And he said, you're older, man, you don't need that. So I went on because I was really excited. And when you, anybody ever been on a, you was on a roll? Because you were feeling it. You were feeling it. You was on a roll. And you might have heard some opposition, but you full, full steam ahead. And I said, man, I could just see. You know, I could go up on the top of the deck. If it rained, I could go down and still steer the boat. He said, don't you know how much that's going to cost? I said, don't you know that if you get something like that, the upkeep, don't you know, not just the upkeep, you know, you got to dock it and you got to pull it up out of the water for what you're talking about, you're about 32 foot along. I said, hold on, buddy. I said, first of all, I ain't asking you to pay for it. I'm used to God financing my dreams. Hey! I've been in hell long enough to know when I come out that's my dream because God is my succession to all of my poverty. How many day ready to come out of hell? Ready to slap hell's clothes off you? How many been in but you're coming out? How many been there but you're coming back now? How many ready to grieve and realize God ain't through with you yet? Stand up on your feet and say the Lord ain't through with me yet. Oh, yeah.